Okay, this is our trailer. We got Swift Action Limited 361 Pipe Fitters Union. Okay, we have a very small trailer we've been working on for quite some time now. We've pulled out the toilet and the the shower and a wall to make a storage area and we've got her up on blocks and uh, pulled out the AC and and uh, put caulk and and uh, really old caulk it didn't really stick but it's been weatherproof for what we need it for and we've painted out or blacked out most of the windows uh, testing some camouflage paint on her and uh, also put siding from uh, this building left over on the windows for uh, protection from the elements and great stuff on the inside so that she's all pretty much weatherproof. Inside here we have a, a deep cycle marine battery. We're adding more and we have our goal zero solar panel in the window as long as our other as well as our other small lights charging and the solar panels ideally will be outside and not stuffed in the window like that but time permitting we're just doing a small visit to the trailer today uh, we'll have this chuck box under here mounted to the tongue of the trailer for our tools obviously there's our double headed axe and uh, hopefully the whole trailer will be this nice custom camouflage color Again, we've got a screen with duct tape covering the window, paint on the windows, and again the metal and the, the great stuff. Let's go inside. All right. First off, it's really nice in here to get out of the weather. It's, we've done a pretty good job of blocking out the the wind. This is Talon. Say hello, Talon. Hello. He is Swift Action 361 on YouTube. You can find him on my page. Here we've got our two Boulder 15 solar panels working on charging up our deep cycle battery and we have a pre-charged Goal Zero 350i power pack here which is running our fluorescent lighting which makes a great deal of difference in here. Um, this door is old and sucks, so we got went to went to Walmart and bought a door latch to keep her closed in the wind. <clears throat> and here we have our basic command center. We've got our netbook that stays out here, and and our optical drive, and all of our electronics and equipment. We've got our weapons rack and tap lights mounted everywhere we've got blowgun for now and we're gonna get uh, rifles and shotguns and handguns and everything else we need out here for zombie apocalypse we have food and 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 drinks and all kinds of goodies in there some booze <clears throat> we're waiting to see if our propane system is good so we can run the fridge and the stove and oven. Uh, I was telling Talon earlier that our kitchen is a mess just like mine is at home but running water would be a would be a nice thing to have. Hopefully we can get a water tank and a foot pump set up so we can get us some water. All the, all the drawers are occupied. They've got <clears throat> everything from emergency food rations and water rations to uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste and we have our all-inclusive junk drawer which has everything under the sun <clears throat> we have our have our dishes up here with our coffee and our sugar and plates here we have our uh, smaller tools and our cook stove and trapping supplies and tanning solution um, 
and all of our all of our pretty much uh, uh, Pathfinder gear. This was the bathroom, and we decided to gut it and uh, take the shower out, like like I showed you outside, and it stores everything that we had up there above the the breakfast nook where we were sitting. This these latches pop loose and the whole thing folds down twice and cuts our headspace off quite a bit but this way we have mounting options for all kinds of uh, monitor screens if we wanted to set up a, a security camera system or if we wanted to just mount shelves and you know put our DVD porn collection on the wall or whatever but here we've got here we've got our our hookah, because this is still a man cave until we pull it out into out into the nowhere. Um, we've got some military ammo cans, and we've got our our snack fridge for if we bring cold items over. We don't want to put them in that ancient thing. We can put them in there, and that's on a 12 volt rig, and it'll run off of the 350 power pack, thanks to Goal Zero. Let's see, I've got my my trusty combat mask that I got from Talon. Thank you again, Talon. And, uh, yeah, full medical pack on the wall, anything from a blister to a bullet wound. Um, we recovered the nasty uh, possum-infested uh, cushions with a fitted sheet. And over here behind Talon, we refitted those with uh, pillowcases. So um, we have a whole bed here, and it's got storage underneath and there and there. And here's our wheel well right here. Um, we can actually cut that out later and fit one of the large totes out there if we had to. And uh, this is where the uh, the operator running this would sleep while the other fella is doing intelligence or weapons cleaning or training outside or patrols or whatever. This would be the operator's bunk where he would sleep. Go Jolly Roger. Or actually that's Calico Jack. Sorry Jack. And... Up here we've got our biodegradable toilet paper, courtesy of my mother-in-law to me, and uh, our fire starting kit and more knives, Texas flag, dop kit, water water socks, uh, all of our miscellaneous crap we don't have storage for goes up there. And here we have our, our good book collection, all the fun need to know stuff, and Again, various random things that we just couldn't find any specific place for. Eventually, I want to get one of those label makers. I had one, but the X stole it. And make labels for all the compartments and all the the smaller um, boxes that we have stuff in. I want to make labels that says, this crap's in here, this crap's in here, this crap's in here. So we don't dig around wasting precious time looking for stuff that we need because we're having a bad day. And let's see, the electrical wiring in the trailer is pretty much shot. It's a 60s model trailer that my grandparents bought in the 70s. And she sat here for 14 years unattended and unloved. And she was a very dirty, dingy, nasty, mouse shit, dead animal, filthy, you name it, it was in here. Anything but a dead body, oh, dead human body. I pulled two mummified possums out of here when I was cleaning her, so yeah. Redneck air conditioner works great, even with a few little bottles of frozen uh, water. We were still able to get what, like two hours of cold air yeah. estimated on that. So good stuff. So we are. Oh yeah, sorry. Broom closet, which has oh gas mask, cigarettes, denatured alcohol, CB radio, antenna, vests, flashlight and tactical koozie rule number one look cool rule number two really you're gonna put me on the spot now don't get lost don't get lost rule number three if you get lost look cool giggity thanks for watching guys we'll be putting more videos up later and uh, uh hopefully it'll be a little more interesting than my than my stupid walkthrough but if you have any questions, uh, comment below, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, I have nothing to do all day but, but respond to stuff. So hit me up. Thanks for watching.